Welcome to Cause Meets World. In this episode, we visit the historic temples of Siem Reap, Cambodia, and I share some things you need to know before visiting. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified first when the next video drops. Let's get into the video. Good morning guys, it is about 4.30 in the morning, I'm having to get up so early, it's Christmas morning, so I'm getting to the left. Merry Christmas, it is Christmas morning and I am getting up really early because today I am heading to the world famous Angkor Wat Temple. Um, my driver just messaged me, I'm running a bit late but I was out last night till about 12, after 12, so I've had very minimal sleep, but we're gonna head out anyway. The drive from the center of Siem Reap, where my hotel was, to the Angkor Wat Temple is roughly 30 to 45 minutes, depending on traffic and including your ticket stop. Before you can enter the temples, you must purchase an admission pass from the ticket office. Tickets range in prices depending on the length of the pass, so I decided to buy the one day pass, which cost me 37 US dollars. After purchasing my ticket, I jumped back in the tuk-tuk and made my way to Angkor Wat, where like many others got up early to view the sunrise. Finally here at Angkor Wat. This trip is a bit of like a redemption trip for me considering I came to Cambodia about two years ago and actually took this same trip however before I managed to reach Angkor Wat I got sick so it was like food poisoning so I missed out on this entire experience so I'm having to do a do-over on this so so far so good i'm feeling all right we just watched the sun uh the sunrise come up and it was very beautiful so i'm literally as you can see standing in the middle of what is the Angkor Wat temple and it is so beautiful but stay tuned and we're gonna go see more <laughs> I'm a driver, Vuti! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> How is Temple? It was really nice. Yes? Yeah, very nice. Sunrise. Good? Yeah, very okay. good sunrise. Okay. Very beautiful. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's go. Okay, so we continue to the Enco Dome. Okay, okay, yes. amazing experience it was to visit Angkor Wat um, just to be in Cambodia on Christmas is just such a completely different experience for me and it is such a beautiful crisp morning sun is shining and it's just nice and cool because usually when you come to uh, well from my experience being here before it was roasting and I think that's why I kind of felt sick it was the humidity and everything but being here so early in the morning it's just so nice it feels it's cool it's bearable to walk around in but I'm at the next temple now which is Angkor Tom this is actually the only temple I managed to see the last time I came before I took uh, I got ill but um, as you can see I, on either side there's like loads of like these statues it almost looks like an army of like faces um, and then you've got the river uh, just uh, beside as well so yeah we're gonna take a look at Angkor Thom. about ready to go now I mean as beautiful as this place is I'm tired of all this walking I feel like I've been walking for miles my step count must be you know just doing numbers but <sighs> food damn it food oh, there's just trees everywhere I'm just like in the middle of like Alice in Wonderland or something but I guess, you know, I'm trying to enjoy the moment, but it's hard to enjoy the moment when you're hungry. Ooh, Chile. Ugh. All right. Let's keep going. so hot I was getting so hungry and then I decided that I was gonna stop and get some food and the driver pulled up at a restaurant so I could eat because I felt like if I didn't I was gonna pass out because I literally woke up and had nothing this morning so um, I just ordered some sweet and sour chicken with some steamed rice I imagine that's my breakfast but it's Asia so I'm allowed to but yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then after I'll continue on my tour of the temples. So I think this is gonna be the last temple of the day. Um, it's been long. It's been, <laughs> it's been long. 
it is 10 exactly 10 39 so i have been up now for well we left out like six hours ago now i've been running around we got here about half past five so i've been running around the temple for like five hours but um it's been it's been great it has been tiring but it's been great so last temple of the day and then i'm heading home i mean the hotel i'm going back to the hotel to sleep <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now we're in the temple area, which kind of is reminiscent of. I'm sure this is like the main location where they show all the tomb. No the one's there. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Pause for like people take photographs, but yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of reminiscent of where they shot the Tomb Raider film, the original one, the one with Angelina Jolie. Um, Indiana Jones, it's all of this. This is like the location where they shot all of that stuff in Cambodia. Um, there's loads of like intertwining vines, trees blending into the temples and stuff like that. So it's really, it's really like creatively beautiful here. Like the different shapes, the different ways they intertwine with one another and just like the, the height of all of these trees. So beautiful. Here are some things you need to know before travelling to the temples in Siem Reap. Hire a tuk-tuk for the day. Siem Reap is filled with tuk-tuk drivers offering to take you anywhere in the city, so feel free to ask any of their prices. As in most countries, there's a tourist price and a local price, so beware of scam prices. I paid 16 US dollars to hire my driver for the day, which included the early pickup to see the temple sunrise, so that should give you a rough idea on what you can expect to pay. Temple tickets can be purchased on the day. You don't need weeks or months of advanced purchases to visit. You can literally decide on the day if you feel like it. There are different passes depending on your visit needs. You can purchase a one day pass for $37, a three day pass for $62 US dollars, or a seven day pass for $72 US dollars. The one day pass is enough for casual sightseers. It gets busier in the afternoons and it's a lot warmer. At times walking around in such heat becomes unbearable and there's hardly any shade, so I'd advise going as early as possible to avoid it. It may cost a few extra dollars to get a driver to take you earlier, but it's definitely worth it. 
bring water with you. There may be a few vendors, but often at tourist hotspots, they will charge you normally double the amount, so you can save yourself a few dollars by buying beforehand. The temple site is huge, and it's impossible to walk to each one, and even visit them all in a day. However, if you're interested in visiting the main temples like I did, then a day pass is all you need. Like most temples in Asia, you must wear the appropriate clothing. Shoulders must be covered, so avoid wearing vests, and you must wear trousers or shorts which pass the knee. Just to be on the safe side, pick up a pair of light trousers from the local market to avoid being turned away. As always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be alerted when the next video drops. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.